Yes. Chocolate. Agreed. Agreed? I believe it because it's right here in front of me and that's what I'm supposed to read. Hey, so this morning, Chris Cocky from Let's Dish has a recipe for chocolate crepes. Crepes hold a cherished spot in my family because I learned to make them for my grandfather, but adding chocolate to them is my idea. They're really simple to put together. Three eggs, and we're just going to whip them up a little bit. And then into that, we're going to go ahead and put some flour, a little bit of cocoa powder, some sugar, and a little sprinkle of salt. Now, the important part of making this crepe batter is at this point, you don't want to overmix this. You want to just mix until the dry ingredients are combined with the eggs. That's it. Then into that, I'm going to go ahead and add one cup of milk. Now, the next ingredient is the secret to a great crepe, and that's some melted butter. Now, you want to put the butter in that's not too hot, so you melt it, then let it cool off. We're going to mix the butter in, and then you want to let the crepe batter sit for about 15 minutes. To cook the crepes, you want to have a hot saute pan with a little bit of butter in the bottom. Pour in just a small amount of the batter. We're going to sort of roll the pan around so it evenly distributes the crepe batter across the bottom of the pan and let it cook. When they're done on one side, we're going to go ahead and flip them over. It only takes about another 15 seconds to cook the other side. Then take it out of the pan, and you want to eat them good and hot with whatever topping you want, like maple syrup, or if you want, 